To curb the trading frenzy in the FNO markets, the market regulator SEBI has announced a slew of measures to strengthen the index derivative framework, as they say, to protect investors, to improve market stability as well. That's the prerogative. This includes reducing expiries to a weekly basis. And also, each exchange is going to be allowed to provide derivatives contracts for only one of its benchmark index with weekly expiry. Let's uh, talk about the impact, but let's just understand what SEBI is bringing to the table with the norms that they are bringing in. And for that, my colleague Ankur Mishra is joining us here in the Mumbai newsroom. Ankur, uh, do bring us up to speed. Six new measures have been announced by SEBI. Uh, do walk us through them. As we reported here on ET now, SEBI has come out with final circular on FNO trading. Now, all five recommendations which were made by the committee, which also featured in the consultation paper, has found place in the final circular as well. These five uh, uh, of the things which SEBI has announced includes upfront collection of margins, removal of calendar benefit, intraday monitor monitoring of position limits, and more importantly, the contract size of uh, index derivatives. Uh, now, earlier, the contract size was limited to 5 to 10 lakhs, which is now being increased uh, uh, to 15 to 20 lakhs, and a glide path has been given from November 20. That will start. In fact, in all the announcements, uh, there is a glide path which is given for the implementation starting from November 20 to February 2025. Apart from that, uh, there is also an announcement of rationalization of weekly expiries. Uh, uh, as far as the volumes are concerned, uh, there were huge volumes in these contracts and SEBI has come hard on all these contracts. Now, one contract, one exchange needs to be decided and this will happen uh, with the consultation of uh, both the exchanges together. And finally, only one expiry uh, contract will remain per exchange. Uh, there is also increase in tail risk coverage on the day of options expiry. And that will be implemented from 20th November 2024. All in all, after coming out with a study, 93% uh, of investors were making losses in FNO. Now, SEBI has come out with norms to curb them. And sources have informed us that this is just the beginning. So this is just the beginning, Ankur. Uh, but these uh, six uh, new norms that we are talking about, let's decode them. Sudeep Bandupadhyay has been in the markets for a long time. He's group chairman at Inditrade Capital. He joins us along with uh, former SEBI officer and founder and managing partner at uh, Reg Street uh, Law Advisors. We're joined uh, this evening by Sumit Agarwal as well. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for making the time to help us understand what uh, the new norms being brought forth by SEBI to be able to control this FNO frenzy how likely they are to work. Uh, Mr. Bandupadhyay, according to you, these six measures that have been announced, uh, how much of this do you see problematic to the ebb and flow of the market from its current state? I hit the volume, at least initially, very, very clearly. Uh, you know, the uh, market was used to a certain uh, a set of contracts, certain uh, limits, certain way of functioning. All that will be uh, changing. And I think this was pretty much on the lines SEBI had put out in the discussion paper. All of the recommendations uh, have been found place in the final uh, kind of uh, uh, regulation which they have now come up with. Uh, to my mind, I think the most important one and I think the right one to have been introduced is the increasing the limit from 5 to 10 to 15 to 20. I think that's par for the course. You know, <clears throat> one uh, well, this, this limits 5 to 10 was set a long time back and they needed revision, and that has happened. The other thing which I think uh, will also have a, a kind of impact on controlling the uh, you know, a huge amount of speculative urge is that upfront collection of margin for option contract. This will kind of uh, control uh, the unbridled speculation which happens based on news flow on a particular day. Uh, so that's uh, the second part. The third thing which definitely will have a significant impact on volume is limiting one contract per week per exchange. I think this will have a significant impact on the overall volumes. Uh, you know, I think these three measures to my mind will be critical. Of course, the limiting the calendar uh, spread uh, on the day of the closure and things like that will also have an impact. But the main impact will be on increasing the contract size, uh, collection of upfront option uh, premium, and limiting uh, you know, one contract per exchange per week, I think these three will be the most crit critical uh, elements of controlling the unbridled speculation 
which was happening and which was resulting in significant loss to retail investors as has been articulated by sebi number of times agarwal what's your sense of the legal legal implications you've been a former officer with sebi do tell us from their perspective the thought process that has been articulated in the past and what you're seeing by way of norms today how much of a correlation do you see in that thought process Mr Agarwal that question was for you i don't know whether he's been able to hear that question um Mr Agarwal yeah, can you hear me yes i can hear you please yes tell me. yes yeah so i was asking you about you know as far as the kind of sounds that we've heard from sebi in the past when it came to controlling this kind of fno frenzy that we've seen in the markets clearly the impact was felt and now we are seeing those losses mount as a result we've seen sebi make these moves and like my colleague said there could be more in times to come in terms of the thoughts that have been articulate articulated by sebi and what we are seeing by way of norms today how much of a correlation exists according to you speaking from sebi standpoint no absolutely i think uh, the move from sebi side is a very very welcome move you see sebi has done an extensive data crunching and in its report also it has noted excessive speculative trading especially in index options on expiry days and they have also noted the very very short holding periods and increased volatility obviously sebi as an institution exists for market stability and investor protection what i particularly notice is that rather than implementing all of these changes in one go sebi has rolled out all of these changes in phases especially key measures like contract size revision or weekly option rationalization those are starting from november 2024 itself however position limit monitoring or the other aspects from april 2025 this phasing of implementation will give everyone a breathing space especially the market participants some time to adjust to the new rules also there is one more specific aspects that now exchanges and clearing corporation will be responsible for real time surveillance margin calculation as well as for position monitoring this is a very very new change which leads to robot risk management so i think it's a very welcome move kind of a uh, trend that we are seeing by way of what uh, sebi is proposing now and has kind of implemented in terms of the impact that you're seeing uh, mr bandopadhyay it's going to be limited in nature right in the beginning but as we move along and get used to the new norms and the direction in which uh, fno activity can take place how do you see that shaping investor approach to the markets couple of things i think uh, you know there will be definitely an impact on the market as far as the volumes are concerned you will see the market volume particularly in the fno side shrink significantly at least in the initial phase it may eventually pick up when things stabilize a bit but initially there will be significant shrinkage in the volume of fno contracts fno trading in india uh, <clears throat> as far as the <clears throat> brokerages are concerned uh, they will uh, get impacted their income income will get impacted but i think as uh, is being told i think these are for the good and structural benefit of the market in the long run so you know i'm not too worried about the market uh, uh, you know Uh, uh, as far as long run is concerned or the impact of these measures on the overall market uh, in the long run or media even medium term but short term there will be definitely a negative impact uh, there will be uh, you know sentimental negativity and it was expected uh, you know though this entire measure uh, which has been taken by cb was on expected lines there will be definitely a negative or a dent in the sentiment at the uh, uh, beginning from initial phase of the implementation so well i i'm not i, I think there will be immediate impact when we open for trading day after tomorrow but uh, gradually the impact will sink in and at some point of time which is maybe by february 25 and after that things will start getting back to normal impact on the exchanges mr agarwal because now that dalal street is going to get rid of that uh, one expiry a day phenomenon which has been blamed for increasing the speculative activity in the market uh, do tell us about the likely uh, impact we are going to see the exchanges go through 
See, I think the exchange as well as the stock brokers for a shorter term are going to have some impact, especially if you were to see the concentration of liquidity that is going to be now surrounded on a single benchmark index. Earlier, all the traders which used to spread their activities across various contracts, they'll have to now focus their trading strategies on one index. Now, this has, and in the past also, has brought out new challenges and new issues. So I think in that sense, exchanges as well as their members will have to reset their institution and there will be new challenges as well. Indeed, uh, like Mr. Bandupadhyay was saying, with effect from the 20th of November, we are going to see SEBI increase the minimum contract size for index futures as well. So that is going to go from 5 to 10 lakhs currently to 15 lakhs at the time of the introduction in the market. So in that sense, this uh, graded approach, uh, Mr. Bandupadhyay, you say that's going to bear well for the markets to get used to the new system. But in the bargain at this point in time, where the markets are currently poised, we are seeing India, the Indian market scenario, really shape up and become a beacon for the world. In that sense, is the timing perhaps the most uh, right for the kind of moves that SEBI is making when it comes to FNO activity? No, I don't think so. I think uh, uh, probably this is an appropriate time. You know, the government, SEBI, and pretty much all the authorities have enough and more data to prove that this rampant speculation was not you know, helping the cause. Uh, yeah, it, there was a lot of volume being generated, but retail was losing money. And uh, that doesn't augur well for the long-term health of the market. Uh, so, and, and if SEBI had to take a step there, they, 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 uh, I would want them to take sooner than later. And uh, I think uh, they have done that. There is a glide path given. So the impact will uh, gradually sink in. Yeah, there will be sentimental negative, as was being told, uh, the brokerages as well as the exchanges We'll see a hit in volumes and their incomes uh, respectively. But I think it's a matter of time before, you know, the fundamentals of the market and the inherent strength of the market dictates what the volume should be and how the market should behave. And that's what is uh, right uh, prescription for the market at this stage. Uh, you know, markets have moved to an elevated level. It has moved up sharply. And unless we contain this speculative ur urges at this stage, uh, we may get into some kind of an accident at a later date, uh, which may not be really palatable. So, you know, taking the right step at the right time uh, is the, uh, uh, you know, perfect medicine. And I think it is, uh, you know, very appropriate that SEBI is taking these steps now. There may be a short-term dip in the market sentiment, but considering the amount of liquidity, considering the amount of uh, positivity around Indian market and Indian economy, yes. I think you could find a better time. But could there be the need for further deterrence as well, Mr. Agarwal, now that we've seen and uh, Mr. Bandupadhyay was talking about the glide path that has been introduced and uh, perhaps there is clarity on that count. But in terms of uh, the deterrence that would be required over and above these, uh, do you see clarity? What more will be required to see this kind of uh, control that uh, SEBI has clearly felt the need for when it comes to FNO? No, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, see, I think uh, taking a step back, whatever way we look at, any time may be a right time and no time is a good time. So any change is obviously going to go through its own motions. Having said this, exchanges and the members will definitely need to adjust their operational frameworks, more so for the exchanges. Their trading systems, compliance measures, monitoring mechanism, all of them will have to go through a new lifeline. Having said this, there is also a huge opportunity for innovation today. With the focus on fewer products, exchanges will have the opportunity now to innovate around the remaining index derivatives. And therefore, new strategies, new products, or new tools will come, and that will change the investor needs also. Uh, what about the kind of products now that uh, will have to be... Uh innovated upon now that these norms and there is clarity in terms of how SEBI is looking at uh, this kind of activity in the markets, uh, will that have to go through a churn? And will it be a big churn in the nature of products that we'll see enter the markets? Because investors need to park their money. They need their uh, obvious options. And at this point in time, we are seeing restrictions being put in. So then how else are uh, the people 
going to be able to park their money if certain options are not going to be easily available to them? Uh, is that for me, Vikram? Yes, Mr. Bandhapadhyay. No, I think, uh, you know, we have to make a fundamental difference between parking money and, for lack of a better word, playing in options and futures. You know, people don't park money in options. Uh, you know, this is a speculative tool. Yeah, uh, you know, in a classical theory, these are hedging tools. But I don't think these are used by retail for hedging their exposure. These are used by retail for, uh, you know, speculation. So parking of money is completely different. There is no dearth of avenues or dearth of options in Indian capital market for parking money. Uh, there is direct equity. There is mutual fund. There are multiple other PMSs and multiple other uh, variants for parking their money and earning good return. You know, uh, uh, you know, FNO is not a place for parking money. This is a place for you know classically theoretically hedging, but actually used for speculating. Yes, indeed. We'll have to see the impact and how it really plays out. Like you're saying, it could be limited uh, to a small period. But as far as the market needs are concerned, the kind of activity that we've seen, the glide path that has been uh, made obvious, perhaps we're going to see more norms come through. And uh, we will wait and watch for the kind of direction the markets take as a result of these norms as well. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.